Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, up until today, I have never farmed Sand Devil Stage 25 or Phantom Grove Stage 25. Literally never even beaten that stage. Never felt like there was a point in it. Couldn't be bothered to build the teams, all that type of stuff. I was happily farming away Stage 24. As of today, it completely changes. So I thought what I'd do is I'd try and just kind of give people... I guess, accessible teams or, you know, some sort of team that you could build out for stage 25, which isn't crazy, but, you know, it's going to need some sort of level of gear. Um, why is it changed? Well, we just had a patch and a patch has given us chaos dust. This is very contentious, okay? There's a whole bunch of content creators right now like, what the hell are you doing? This is crazy for the game. Literally, um, just pushing like power levels through the roof overnight. Other people are like, well, look, if the Krakens have already pushed their power levels through the roof because they far more than we do and et cetera, et cetera, then at least it gives everyone a chance to get back onto a level playing field in like competitive play. For most people, I guess this is, I mean, it's end game content, okay? You're not going to be farming the Sand Devils until you're probably at least, at least a year into the game. Yeah, unless it, you might literally just do early level stuff, try and get a, a couple of spare, um, pairs of speed boots with an extra speed roll. But generally, this is late game content, right? So what I'm going to do is just show you how this Chaos Dust works now, and then we'll show you the runs uh, and the builds and stuff. But ultimately, up until today, I, I, I said this in a video yesterday, but if I wanted my speed boots and I wanted to have a speed ascension on them, ascension bonus of speed, uh, what am I doing here? Speed with speed. Why is it not finding anything? Equipped. Okay, yeah. I've got very few, and I've played this game for years. Yeah, literally for years. I didn't get that lucky. I've got a few sets of actual speed boots. Um, I only got two sets of perception boots, which is really where I'd love to get that additional speed. You know, your damage sets, you're going to want to try and find additional speed. So that's like one thing, yeah? Similarly, uh, I don't know. Let's take gloves. If you want uh, crit damage gloves... And you, you want to roll either crit rate or crit damage as your kind of like booster. And really you want it in Cruel Set, uh, or you want it in Lethal, or you want it in Savage. Again, you can kind of see, I have not really done that, okay? I have not really been able to get that type of roll. So what, what they're allowing you to do here is to say, well, oh, hold on a minute. Let's see if we can improve your gear. Yeah, if I was to take some Lethal, uh, and I was like, right, Newt's piece of uh, gear here, his gloves currently have rolled a flat attack, which is not good for Newt at all, but might be okay for someone else. These gloves are okay as they are, right? They're, they're, they've got a crit rate roll, they've got some speed, a crit damage. We go into Ascend and then Chaos Dust. I can now rework. And what happens here is it will eliminate the current roll as an option for the reroll. Yeah, so reroll attempt zero. It eliminates attack from coming back. So if you reroll again, you've now got one less. I've done it. These gloves are now godlike. These gloves are now godlike. Yeah, because I've I've landed the roll that I wanted. Bam. These gloves have just gone from being okay to being godlike in 20 seconds. And obviously you're not going to get as lucky as that. But this is a farmable dust. Yeah, it's farmable on stage 25. So it's only a matter of time before you get the roles you want on everything. Literally everything you own. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, obviously, Sintranos is hard content. We're all talking about needing better gear, uh, you know, faster champions, more, more accuracy, more damage, all of that. We need all of that to beat Sintranos at the hardest level. You know, I've been working away. Like, I've gone from 140 million silver to nothing in the last week because I've been trying to fight my way through Sintranos and I've got five stages left to go. Yeah, so and, and a lot of it is gear checks. It's gear checks. It's, it's uh, are you fast enough? Do you have enough accuracy? Do you have enough damage? All that type of stuff. So this will help people to get there when they're in the late game. I still, like I said, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it's pretty nuts. By the way, one other change that they've made apparently is if you finished a pass, even though this is there, the red dots have gone away. That's actually the best change of this patch. Uh, anyway, 
let me talk you through what we're going to do here for, for Sand Devil. It's, it's a, a deviant, I guess, on the old God Seeker team. So God Seeker now running way slower than I used to run her, by the way. 195 speed, lots of health, lots of defense. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all you care about on her. Once you've hit your speed number, it's like how much health and defense can I crack in? And if anything, I'd like a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm basically rocking defense with good rolls on HP in the ring, uh, HP on the amulet with some defense on it, HP with some speed on the banner. And then basically because we're going slower now, less than 200 speed, I've been able to flip to HP on the boots, defense, defense, and I'm basically finding the right speed rolls for me. Yeah, to make to make it work. And in terms of masteries here, a lot of it is just again more health and stuff. So we've got elixir of life, more HP, steadfast, more HP, better healing down the left hand side. I do have spirit haste, which is required. Yes, yeah, so we gain eight more speed from this uh, when our friends die, or it'll actually be sixteen more speed. So this gives us what we need. Now my champion that I will use is going to be ninja. So I'll show you the ninja, but I'll also show you an epic alternative um, who is actually really solid. So ninja, I've set him up with all perception gear. It's all about the right speed with tons of accuracy. Yeah, you just want to land his burn as many times as you can because that's where his damage comes from. So we've got ninja running at 201 speed, tons of accuracy, and actually low enough defensive stats that he just dies because it will speed up your run. If I had like a five star or above blessing, I would put brimstone on him so that it gets a secured brimstone. But if you don't have more than that, it just gets wiped away. So I figure take soul reap and at least your run will finish a bit sooner. So I have seen people running ninja with affinity breaker. Uh, finally, affinity breaker has got a home because ninja is weak affinity here. He's got a chance to weak hit. The more weak hits he does, the slower your run will be because he needs to... Uh, hit to get his a a two away, and all we care about is, is uh, hail burn. Yeah, so it's the chance to pop burns as soon as you do them. That's why that's where his damage comes from. That's why he is so good. Uh, I think you can do it with Chronum. I don't have Chronum, but it would be the same type of setup. But then we've got one food champion in here, just because we need that extra person to die to get the right speed for our God Seeker. Now you can put someone in here that you want to level up, or you can just put someone in here that stays in here. You could put someone in that's got an HP lead. Uh, can you? Uh, actually, can you? No, you cannot do that. <laughs> you need Godseeker to be the leader. Sorry, don't do that. Godseeker's got to be the leader and Ninja's got to be in position two. Uh, and we'll see why in a second. So the way this works, you've probably seen this before. So this is not new news. Kills everybody. Godseeker revives by a passive and then she revives someone else. That's why she has to be the leader. Ninja then dies, by the way. This is, what, this is different from what I used to run. Ninja's dead. He's out of here. Uh, which means it speeds up your runs. You've got less animations. Ninja does no damage whilst that's happening anyway. And then he gets back up when it's time to do damage when the Sand Devil is having a good old snooze. Yeah, so this now just runs through. Basically, we've got enough healing, HP and, and whatever to, to keep ourselves alive. We get a reset. He comes back up, does his burst of damage. And Ninja's like, I'm alive again. And then he's dead and takes another rest. Uh, and you can see this just kind of like plays through. We have enough turns in between the Sand Devil killing us to get our, our passive back and our revive back. And then it just kind of like flows through. I think normally, depends how lucky I get with my Ninja A2 because I don't have Affinity Breaker on him. So depends how lucky I get, how many kind of burn procs we get. And it's either around two minutes up to around three minutes. So, you know, and with this now, I've got the chance to farm some of that dust. And obviously, as you saw there, the more dust I can farm, uh, the better. Didn't land a single burn that time. So, you know, I actually am in this, this frame of mind now that I might try and actually get myself some Affinity Breaker gear. Because I've also seen, and I'll do a separate video on this probably tomorrow. I've seen for the Phantom Grove, people are gearing out a newt in Affinity Breaker to speed up level 25 Phantom Grove as well. So same sort of concept. Newt is the wrong affinity for it. And um, yeah, anyway, you need to kind of change it up. Anyway, you can see this is working. It's super clean. I've run it maybe 15 times with no fails. So I'm pretty comfortable that all the stats work. I'll show you 
the kind of more accessible champion team now. Okay, that's the end of that. Yeah, as I say, around three minutes. I've done it as quick as two minutes and six and Ninja in the flow there. So the second team, which you probably saw right at the start, is using Farak in the fat. Basically the same build, 201 speed, lots of accuracy, so he's in perception gear. But my one's also in toxic gear. Okay, so he doesn't have the luxury of a ninja, triple burn, all of that sort of stuff, but he does have a double poison with a burn in toxic gear as well. You've got a chance of additional uh, little poison, but we've got exactly the same concept here with an all epic team, uh, food champion in the mix again, same idea. I guess I'll just show you uh, Farakin's masteries just in case uh, you want to see them. Yeah, so we're just basically gaining. Um, None of it really matters other than I'm getting more accuracy. That's pretty much all I care about. More accuracy in the build. Yeah, and uh, his blessing doesn't matter. Toxic gear is helpful because it's just more damage. And exactly the same idea. But what's cool here is he's actually positive affinity. So he should always land his brand bit ability. Yeah, he should always get this away. We get... Uh, did we get resisted? We did get resisted. We don't resist on the burn, but anyway, we got a couple of poisons away. Pretty sure I've got enough accuracy, but maybe I don't. Maybe I need to go a little bit higher. But exactly the same concept, yeah? Brand goes on. Got resisted again on the burn. What's the chance? It's two in a row. This is where you need a Braid Shadow Legend stages tool. Just double check your numbers. Burn went on that time. Okay, so we had a lot more damage. Um, if you want to, by the way, you can come to hellhades.com, hover over Raid Shadow Legends, go to the stages tool. And then just check out dungeons or check out whatever content you want. But I'm just going to have a quick look at level 25. Just see. Uh, so he's got 500 resist. Oh, okay. So I should actually have 525 accuracy. I think I've got like 460 or so. So that's that's the reason I'm getting some resists. It would speed it up if I had enough. Uh, that's my bad. It's also quite hard to do in toxic gear. So it might be that you scrap the toxic. And just make sure he's got enough accuracy to always land his kit. But the more stuff like this you can get away like this, then the more damage you'll do, the quicker you'll do it, etc. So I've run this one a few times already, making sure that it worked. And this one's normally about three and a half minutes. So two options, really. There'll be other options as well. Like I've seen Frenzy being used, the, uh, the new Void Epic dude that looks a bit like a werewolf. Uh, but again, it's a bit slower again. It's probably about four minutes. I've seen Cronin being used, but I don't have him. Um, so yeah, there's other options to do the same, but really Godseeker Ineri is just like a must for any of the kind of what you might call a cheese team for this for this level. So look, hope that helps you. Uh, I do, I guess let me know what you think about the change to being able to re-roll on the Ascension stuff. Is that something you think is cool or something you think is bad for the game? Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you soon.